So the general form of an equation of a straight line is this y equals to mx plus c. In this, this c it stands for y intercept, which is the point where the graph cuts the y axis. For example, this point, right where the x coordinate of that point is zero, and this is the gradient of the line. Now let's do an example. What if we are given an equation? Let's say the equation is 5y minus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. And they have asked us to find the gradient of this line and also the y-intercept of this line. So for that, we'll have to convert this equation into this general form. For that, we'll have to make y the subject. So which will be, let's solve for y, 5y equals to positive 3x negative 4 y will be 3 over 5x minus 4 by 5 right so this is our gradient and this is our y intercept right now moving on to the gradient of a perpendicular line let's say i have a line This. Let's say gradient of this line is positive 1 by 5, right? And let me draw the coordinate axes. This will be this is y axis, and let's say this is x axis. So the gradient of this line is positive 1 by 5. Now the line which is perpendicular to this line, this one, for example, this one. Let's say this line is exactly perpendicular to this line, the orange colored line. Now the gradient of this line will be the negative reciprocal of the line which is perpendicular to that line. For example, the gradient of this will be negative of 1 by 5 of reciprocal or inverse. So the gradient of this line, the perpendicular line will be negative 5. So the gradient of two perpendicular lines are the negative inverse or negative reciprocal of each other right now moving on to the midpoint of a line let's say we're giving a we're given a line let's say this is our line let's say this is point a which is four and five and this is point b which is let's say ten and negative four and they have asked us to find the coordinates of the midpoint of this line. Let's mark the midpoint as n. So the formula for finding the coordinates of the midpoint of A and B is of any two points is midpoint. You add the values of x x coordinates of the two points divided by 2 and the same is done for the y coordinates of the two points right hence the coordinates of m are 4 plus 10 over 2 5 plus negative 4 over 2 m will be 14 over 2 7 and 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 over 2, 0 0.5. So these are the coordinates of the midpoint of A and B. Now for finding the distance between the points A and B, we will use this formula. This formula is used to find the distance between any two points, obviously on a line, the distance y2 minus y1 whole squared plus x2 minus x1 whole squared. So our point A was A was uh, 4, 5, B was 10, negative 4. 4, 5 and B was 10, negative 4. So let's label this as x2, y2 
and this as x1 y1 we would have named these x2 y2 and then named these x1 y1 then a b is y2 minus y1 y2 is negative 4 negative 5 negative 4 negative 5 whole square plus x2 minus x1 10 minus 4 whole square so this gives us this is 9 negative 9 squared is positive 81 and this is 46 46 squared is 36 and our answer will be 10.8167 10.8167 so this is the distance between the points a and b so how did you actually come around this formula what is the basis of the formula so plotting a and b will help you understand how did we actually come about this formula so let's plot a let's draw the coordinate axes this is y this is x and a was positive 4 positive 5 this is 4 this is 5 this is a point a and b was 10 minus 4 10 minus or negative 4 yes right this is your point b so if we see that if i do y2 minus y1 right it will give me the length of the vertical column of this line for example it will give me this length right y2 minus y1 just as in gradient delta y if i do x2 minus x1 it will give me the length of this portion of the line the horizontal portion of the line right x2 minus x1 just like in gradient this is delta x so we can see that this is actually making a right angle triangle right and this is our AB, let's say the length, this AB. So AB squared equals to y2 minus y1 squared. This order is important. If it is y2 minus y1, in the next term you'll write x2 minus x1 squared. If you would have written y1 minus y2 squared, here you'll write x1 minus x2 squared, right? So AB will be given by the under root of this expression, right? So that's how this formula was derived. See, it was quite simple.